Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a Bath and Body Works shop with me video where I went to the stores. I actually wasn't planning to film this, but they actually had quite a few new things, including their whole Halloween setup, which I was like, whoa. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let's do a little shop with me voiceover. So that part will be really quick just to see what everything is looking like, what they have. I always go crazy for Halloween stuff every year and they had it out super early. And I wanted to share with you a collective kind of fall haul. I bought a lot today, but I've also kind of bought some other stuff here and there from the past couple of weeks. And uh, since the candles are $10 off right now, I wanted to give some of my recommendations. Anyways, just a few updates. I want to say thank you so much for all the prayers for my mom. If you guys have not heard anything, I've been kind of talking about this on my Instagram stories, but my mom is sick and she's in the hospital. Um, she's doing better. So I've been updating on there. I might do a little, I don't know, maybe in the next couple of weeks, like a little life update about everything, what happened. It's just been... A crazy crazy um, whirlwind of a week but you guys are the best you guys have got me through this and <laughs> I appreciate you all so so much and one more thing I know this look is pretty dramatic this is I filmed for Instagram so I usually do kind of more dramatic stuff over there and if you guys want to know how I got this look it'll be on Instagram today <laughs> all right so now let's go ahead and I'll show you guys inside my local Bath and Body Works what they have and um, not all the Bath & Byers might not be set up this way yet, and I know some of your stores aren't open yet. If you have a store that hasn't opened yet, it's maybe opening soon, I definitely recommend checking it out the first day. They should definitely have some of the same deals that we had, and you should still be able to score some 75% off things. Um, so just, you could check the Bath & Byers website to see when your store will be opening. Okay, now let's go ahead and get into the shop with me. So the first thing I saw when I walked in was their new scent called Sunset Glow, and I am obsessed. Definitely recommend. They had pretty much everything in this line except a body cream so far, so I don't know if they're getting that in. But these are the notes on it. It's seriously such a good one if you guys like sweet smells, so I had to share this with you. And then we have the Halloween section. I should have took a video of the top, but they had this all set up. These are the soaps. We have the Spooky Nights. I'm obsessed with all their Halloween stuff. It's so much fun. We also have here, this is Vampire Blood. Always a classic that comes out pretty much every year. It's very fruity. Next up, we have the Candy Corn Treats. I ended up picking this one up, you'll see at the end, but um, I had to get it because candy corn sweetness. And then these are some of the candles. They have the Hot Cocoa and Scream, which has a really cool label. This is just Hot Cocoa and Cream. And I'm obsessed with this candle holder. It is so cool how the bats kind of fly around. I really want it, but it's like 60 bucks, I think. Yeah crazy. It's so cute though. I, I might get it. We'll see. And then they have this cute little haunted house soap holder. This one was I think $16.50. I'm trying to read the labels but it's not the best. And this adorable pocket back holder which this um, is like a witch with a glass ball and the ball does light up which is kind of cool. And then they had the vampire blood candle again that always comes out. And Perfect Pumpkin as well, which has a really cute little black cat on it. Also, we have some hand sanitizers, the Ghoul Friend, the Vampire Blood, and we have Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin over here. They had this candle holder, which is a skull. Also, this cute glittery mummy one, which is adorable. This one's $39, I think. Also these little pumpkin ones and this sparkly one, I think they've had that before. Here's another soap that was Happy Haunting and we also have Ghoul Friend in the soap as well. So those are all the Halloween soaps. And then I wanted to go over these little plugins. That's a little candle bra, I think that's how you say it. They had some really cute ones. There's a Boo one and some pumpkins. I love the Halloween ones. And then here's some hand sanitizers that was new. The flannel is what I looked at first because I don't think they've had it in hand sanitizer before. But yeah, they are stocked up on sanitizer. Also, here is a glimpse of some of the fall soaps. I did pick up a couple ones from this line, including Sweater Weather. And then here is some more in the luxury soaps or the creamy ones. I got the apple brown sugar. 
and these cute ones. And then I love this little fox holder. That one's so cute for the soaps and these pumpkins. And then they did have a couple more fall body care, bonfire bash, and sweater weather. So far, I think there is more coming soon. Here is a glimpse of the candles. We got a lakeside morning, pumpkin apple. I'll try to read these if I can. We have autumn. There's a little fox candle holder and a little squirrel. Oh, so cute. Here is a leaves candle. I can't read that one. <laughs> this one is newer, Honeycrisp Apple. It just smells like a basic apple set. And the Acorn Lane is new as well. That one's pretty good. Here is the White Eucalyptus and Sage. And then Autumn Woods. I did like those. And then here is some more. These are just like the classics. We've always seen these before. I love this collection. The labels are so cute on these. Definitely my favorite collection in the whole line. They're just so, so cute. And here's a few more of these small ones. But lots and lots of candles right now on sale. All right, so that's kind of an overview of what my Bath & Body Works had today. Like I said, I was so shocked to see Halloween. Not even very much fall yet, but it was just like straight up Halloween stuff. I don't know if they're just kind of running out of inventory since the sale at my store has kind of been open for a while and a lot of stuff has sold. So I think they're kind of just ready to kick it into fall gear. I know most retail places start fall in August. I know it's weird. That's just how it is in the retail world. Um, but I just kind of wanted to pick up some things so I can share with you guys what I've been loving. Let's go with candles first. These are $10 off right now. I don't know how long that will last. Probably through this weekend. Um, you can do that deal online as well. I should have these scents. So the first candle that I was beyond excited to get. I am obsessed with everything banana. And I saw the banana walnut muffin. It seemed like a new scent. So I was like, let's try it. I have burned it a bit because I kind of wanted to give you guys my opinions on it. And I have to say, I was disappointed because of the name. And I was expecting at least some banana in here, but I really don't get any banana. It's not a bad scent at all, but it's more to me like cinnamon and sugar and pumpkin. Like I get pumpkin for some reason, even though I don't think it's in the notes. It says sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon sugar muffin. And it's very strong, don't get me wrong. So if you guys want something powerful, you might like this, but... I was disappointed, I have to say. Another one from that same line that I picked up is the Pumpkin Donut Shop, and I'm obsessed with the label on this one. It is so cute. This one, I believe, came out last year, and I think I ended up returning mine. I actually never burned it. I just couldn't get much smell out of it, like smelling it out of the jar. So I didn't even burn it, but this time I picked it up. I just, I couldn't resist the label of it, so cute. And I started burning it, and I actually do enjoy this. This is a very hit or miss candle with some people. But I love how this smells. It reminds me a little bit of pumpkin peanut brittle. But with a little bit of that more donut scent to it. But I enjoy it a lot. I think it smells really good and I would recommend it. But um, this is a more lighter throw. So it's not going to kind of fill your whole house. It might fill one little room. But it is on the lighter side. So maybe if you guys are sensitive to scents, I would get this. It is pretty light. But I just, I really enjoy the scent that it does give. I think it smells really good, so I do enjoy it. And I picked up actually another one to have, so I have two of those because I really like this one. Speaking of pumpkin peanut brittle, I had to grab another. This is probably, I would say my, mm, I think it's my favorite fall scent. I love like leaves and marshmallow fireside and this pumpkin peanut brittle. Yum. This is stuff, this one is so strong. I don't know what it is about it. It kind of has a peanut buttery note to it with the pumpkin. It's just so sweet, so delicious, it's so strong. It has notes of creamy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, toasted pumpkin seeds. Amazing. And then the last candle I got, this one, it's not really a fall one, but it is online right now. It's an online exclusive. It's called Lemon Lavender Shortbread. And I was so intrigued by this with the lemon note. And it's very, very interesting. On cold sniff, I do get a sweet lemon, but it's kind of that lemon, like, you know, like a pledge or lemon household cleaner kind of scent. It's very strong, but I do get that sweetness to it as well, like the shortbread and a little bit of lavender. So I do get all the notes in it. It's very interesting. I'm going to have to see how it is burning. It's just a weird one. I don't know if I would pick it up again, but I think it's kind of fun to have it in my collection. The notes are sugared shortbread, zested lemons, French lavender sprinkles, so... Very unique. I was going to get the blueberry one, but that one sold out, unfortunately. Okay, so the rest is some body care. I have 
like fall body care just a couple things and some hand soaps and then let me just do these 75% off ones quick so I actually got this a few weeks back I just never filmed a haul with it but I wanted to tell you guys about it cuz um, if your store is just opening back up they should have this at 75% off this is a lemon drop martini oh my gosh I love this scent so much I was not knowing what to expect from it I thought it would just be too citrusy but it's a very sweet sweet lemon it reminds me of the old school from the vanillas line the summer vanillas lemon vanilla I can hardly remember it honestly because it's been so long but that's just the first thing that came to my mind when I smelled this it's so good the notes are lemon zest sugar cane and sweet cream but it's really good I highly recommend it I did get the little lotion because it hasn't come in like a body cream or a fragrance mist so I just got the lotion in shower gel but I am obsessed with this. Okay, so they have a new main scent, I think. I don't know if it's limited edition, but it's like right in the front, and I had to get it. It smelled so good, so I did the buy three, buy two, buy two, <laughs> get one free on that. And it's called Sunset Glow, and I love, love, love this. The notes are fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla yum 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 it's so good very very sweet smelling when I first smell it it almost is like a pistachio like it almost reminds me of like the Sol de Janeiro boom boom cream but then when it starts drying I can smell like a cherry vanilla I just get so much from it but it's like a really sweet bakery scent kind of a nutty vanilla it's really really good I highly recommend so I picked up the sunset glow whipped lotion as well which I have this on now it does kind of give a slight glow to the skin which is nice for summer I'm wearing a lot of dresses and shorts so it's kind of nice to just throw this on and just be really shimmery and smell good so I grabbed that I didn't see the, a body cream anywhere there but this is kind of pricey at 1850 but if they had the body cream, I probably would have got that instead, but they, I, I just did not see one there. And then, of course, I did get the Fine Fragrance Mist. I used to not buy these, but I've been wearing these mists a lot more than my perfumes lately, so I just always feel like I have to have the whole set these days. And then I did get the Moisturizing Body Wash as well, because, I don't know, I just had to splurge for this over the regular just to have something a bit more. I feel like you get more product in here. And it's more moisturizing like it says so I'm really excited about this new set you guys will have to let me know if you've tried it but I'm very impressed okay so I also grabbed a few soaps I really don't need any but I wanted to get some of the Halloween ones because I feel like those always go really fast and the since this Halloween stuff is out so early I feel like people are gonna scoop it up and it's gonna be pretty much gone they had so many cute things though so I grabbed the spooky nights of soap I didn't smell any of these in store I just kind of picked them up um, and since they had a deal I feel like I had to buy four even though I really just wanted two. but that's always how it goes right so this one has notes of haunting sage scary sandalwood and terrifying tonka bean Ooh, that's different it smells kind of Christmassy very musky I don't know I definitely should have smelled that I feel like because I don't know if I love it but I feel like maybe for fall it would be okay it definitely has a weird like woodsy kind of note to it but I guess that's why it's probably called Spooky Nights because it's, it has like the woods in the background. This one I think I'm going to love. This is the Candy Corn Treats and I remember they had a Candy Corn one last year that sold out so quick so I had to grab this. It says Enchanted Marshmallow Chilling Lavender and Candy Corn. So this is basically like Lavender Marshmallow I'm guessing. It's interesting. I don't know. It's definitely like a Lavender Marshmallow kind of scent but it doesn't really smell like Candy Corn but that's fine. I will definitely use those and put them out for Halloween anyway. And then I got the apple and brown sugar. This is the Creamy Luxe one. It says baked apples, brown sugar, and flaky pie crust. Now this one is delicious. Straight up apple pie yumminess. Plus these are super moisturizing. And then I grabbed Sweater Weather because we all know what Sweater Weather smells like. It's one of my favorites. Sage, eucalyptus, and fresh woods. Ugh, I love it such a light just fresh scent so those are the soaps I picked up that's pretty much all I got for Halloween I wanted to get some of the candle holders but they're so pricey I just couldn't justify it and then my last purchases I'm in love with these little anti-back sprays I throw them in my car since I do 
go to stores a lot. I just always have to sanitize. I'm like a super freak about it, which I feel like you should be right now. So um, I like these because they're just easy to throw on. So I have the cucumber melon hand sanitizer spray and also the sunshine and lemons. These are a little bit pricey. They don't really have a deal on these spray ones. They're like $6.50 each, but I do enjoy them and mine have lasted pretty well. So that is everything that I picked up from Bath & Body Works. I feel like I'm going to buy a couple more things, like I said, maybe in the next couple weeks with more fall stuff coming out. I feel like there's always new candles coming out online, but those are my first purchases so far. So that is going to be it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.